Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be trying a new color remover that just came to the market. I had no idea this product even existed until I saw several comments from you guys asking me to try it. So Strawberry Leopard released a hair color remover. I know nothing about this, so I'm really excited to try it today, explore it with you guys, see what it's all about. If you know nothing about Strawberry Leopard, basically it's the exact same thing as Arctic Fox. It's literally like a dupe for Arctic Fox. You can get it at Sally Beauty, you can get it online, and it smells really good i like the color a lot i don't use it very often because i like the consistency of manic panic and lunar tides a little bit more but it is a good hair color line so i'm really excited they expanded that with a hair color remover i have no idea if this is like similar to the vitamin c method or if it's a bleach based color remover so we're gonna put it to the test today real quick as you guys can see my husband did in fact learn how to do sewn extensions Give a little round of applause for my husband. It was a little trial and error and it was a little difficult, but he figured out how to do it and he's very proud of himself. So good job to my husband for learning how to do sewing extensions and saving me a bunch of money. One more thing, I did just release some new merch. A lot of you guys were asking for Crybaby merch. I heard you, so I made Crybaby merch. I made Spooky Halloween merch. I made merch that says Sad Ghouls Club which is this one right here. And for the first time ever with the merch I make, I created a zip up hoodie and a pullover hoodie. So we have long sleeve, short sleeve, zip up hoodies, pullover hoodies. So all of that will be linked in the description down below. Also something super exciting, Spoiled Cosmetics made a makeup bag with my logo on it. It's a front and back makeup bag. The front has AKA Aislin with a jack-o'-lantern and the back has Sad Ghouls Club, this design on the back. So if you want a makeup bag, it's only $12.60 with my coupon code. So yeah, I have new merch. I have a makeup bag with Spoiled and also my palette is still available. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, I will leave the links to all of those things in the description down below for you guys. I'm just really excited about this merch. It's probably my favorite merch I've ever came out with. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know about that. Let's move on to trying this color remover. So here's what the packaging looks like. Honestly, it is so cute. I love Strawberry Leopard's logo. I like like the rainbow pattern behind it. I love it. Again, rip off of Arctic Fox, but I do like Strawberry Leopard and I like their design. So this is what the package looks like. I can't remember how much this retailed for. I do get a discount because I have a cosmetology license. So I do get 10% off at Sally Beauty, but I'll leave on screen what it retails for. So let's explore what this is all about. On the back, for the instructions, it says, for greater lift, mix with three ounces of developer. For light lifting, mix with three ounces of water. Mix in a bowl until paste is formed. Apply onto hair with a brush. Use the foil technique to avoid any potential skin irritation. Allow to remain on hair for a minimum of 15 minutes and a maximum of 45 minutes. The longer the processing time, the greater the lift. Shampoo from hair twice. I did get two packets because they are relatively small and I wanted to make sure to have more than enough. So we are going to try using the water and we're gonna try using the developer. We're gonna let these process 45 minutes the maximum amount of time and see how much color these can remove out of the hair. On the front here, it says color remover removes bright, bold color. It's ammonia free, cruelty free, vegan and paraben free. So that's a little bit about it. Not too much information, but we got all we needed to know. So let me show you what we're gonna be removing today. So on the package, it does say removes bright, bold color and <laughs> We are gonna test that today. This kills me a little bit because these are some of the most beautiful rainbow strands I have ever dyed. These colors are probably the most neon and the most vibrant, but we are going to be removing color out of these two human hair swatches. Like I said, I did dye these with semi-permanent dye. I mixed up a lot of different brands. So let's see what colors this removes. Obviously there's not red in here, you guys know. Red is like a pain in the ass to remove. I could test this on red, but it most likely won't do anything. So we're gonna stick to all of these rainbow colors here and see how powerful this is. We're also gonna check the integrity of the hair and make sure that it does not damage the hair severely. Let's give it a little sniff test and see what it smells like. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. It does not smell like bleach, but we'll see once the developer hits it if it smells like bleach. It looks very similar to a vitamin C treatment like Malibu CPR or color exchange or something along those lines. So let's mix this up and see if it's more of a bleach or if it is more along those vitamin C type color removers. We have the two mixed up here. This one is with the developer. It's a really nice consistency. Then we have the one I mixed up with water and it's just like a 
really nice paste. The smell is very, very, very unique. I have never smelled a color remover quite like this. It's very hard to explain. It does have a slight bleach smell to it, but it is so mild. It smells kind of like wet paper or paste. It's a very, very interesting smell. Kind of smells a little bit like chlorine or some type of cleaning chemical. But again, the fragrance is very, very light. I wish I could describe it to you guys in a better way, but when I get really close and I smell it like that, it does give a little bit of like singe in my nose, but it's very mild. It's nothing compared to a high lift color or a bleach based color remover or bleach. It's like nothing like that. Like I'm not breathing in fumes or even smelling it. When I'm just sitting here and it's on the desk, I don't smell it at all. Even when it's like right here, I don't smell it. I have to really put it up to my nose and take a big whiff to even get any sort of fragrance. Let me go ahead and get a second camera angle going and we're gonna apply this on both strands. And I'm curious to see how this is gonna saturate because this mixture right here looks like it might be a little challenging to work into the hair, but we're gonna work with it. All right, we're gonna go in with this one first. And as you can see, it has been swelling up a little bit. So let's go ahead and I am trying to do this one handed. So bear with me, guys. I just want you guys to see me applying it. And I'm definitely gonna make sure to saturate super, super well. I wanna give this the best chance of working. Honestly, so far I'm a little doubtful just because of how odd everything has been so far. And I've never really experienced a color remover like this. So I feel like it's either gonna be very innovative or it's just not gonna work very well but I'm hoping it's innovative because it seems like a very, very gentle color remover. So if this does actually like remove the color in a gentle way, um, this might be a game changer for me and my hair. I will go back in and resaturate that after I'm done filming, but let's go in with this paste, you guys. How am I gonna work this into the hair? I don't know. We're, <laughs> We're about to find out, oh gosh. Yeah, let me, uh, let me put down the camera and really work this in and I'll come back once it's worked in. All right, you guys, I have everything applied and I know it's not just me. Where the orange was is like disappeared. So like the orange and the pink are definitely starting to fade, especially over here on this one. If I wipe away the product, this is where the orange was and this is where the pink was. Even the purple, you guys, see that? It's starting to fade already. So this is like blowing my mind in every sense of the way. Like it's it's crazy. This has been on for a couple minutes. The one with developer is definitely doing more than the one without, but here's what they look like with the product on them. I am gonna cover them up while they process. One thing I also wanna mention is these packets seem small, but I only mixed up half of a pack in this bowl and half a pack in the other bowl. And because you add so much developer, you actually get a lot of products. If you're mixing this with water, you're gonna need a lot more packets because it becomes a paste. But if you're mixing it with developer, you don't need a lot of product because this is half a pack and I completely drenched this swatch in this and I still have like a whole bowl left of product. So a little goes a really long way with this. While these are processing, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the internet and try and Google some of these ingredients and see if there's any other color remover that compares to this or if they have ingredients in here that's similar to CPR or what's going on, because this is blowing my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and let these process, do some research, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished result. All right, you guys, I am back. And while they were processing, I was racking my brain trying to think of the product that this is very similar to. I knew I had used a product that was similar to this and I could just not remember what it was. And then all of a sudden it clicked and came to me. This product is pretty much an exact dupe for Malibu DDL or Malibu DDL XL. If you've ever used those before, this is literally like the exact same thing, but it's not professional, which is amazing because then anybody can get their hands on it. You guys can get this at Sally Beauty or on their website, whereas Malibu, you have to have a license in order to get it and use it. This literally is the exact same. I haven't used Malibu DDL in years, so that's why I was having a hard time remembering like what product it was, but after I was like, it's Malibu, I looked up the ingredients and the ingredients are almost identical to the Malibu DDL. So yeah, let me show you these results because uh, it did an incredible job. Like I am shocked at how well this worked. Last time I used Malibu DDL, I didn't really like it. I don't use it often because it is a little bit harsher than like vitamin C or Malibu CPR. I try to do vitamin C and other treatments before jumping to something like this that will damage your hair a little bit. Okay, here are the results. This is the one with just water. This is the one with 10 volume and look how much color 
this removed out of the hair. If I were you, I would completely skip using the water. I just feel like it creates a little bit more of a mess for you. Like it kind of turns every other piece of the hair yellow. Even where there wasn't yellow before, it turned that area yellow. So I would just skip on that and just go straight to the 10 volume. There are some areas that still have a little bit of blue, but my filming room is very, very cold. And I think if I was in a room that was a little bit warmer, this probably would have went right back to a really bright platinum white blonde. But still, even in a freezing cold room, this did an amazing job at removing the color. And if you guys can't tell, the hair is in great shape. Like the hair is super thick, it's shiny, it feels really, really soft. So definitely, definitely recommend you guys try this if you have vivid hair you're trying to remove. Like I said, I haven't used Malibu DDL in a long time, but I am probably gonna start getting these and using them because it is a much more gentle color remover than a lot of the ones out there on the market. This will lift your regrowth, which is another con to this. So it will bump your regrowth. If you have like two inches of your natural color growing out, it is going to lighten that a little bit. So keep that in mind. That's probably why the instructions recommend you put it in foils so that way it doesn't get on your scalp and like lift your natural color. After I rinsed these out, the hair did feel a little bit slimy, but no hair was falling out. I think it's just the texture of the product is kind of slimy like that. It seems like there's like a lot of minerals in here. You guys could see when I mixed it up, it kind of had like a slimy-ish texture to it, but this product works really, really well. I highly recommend. If you're used to doing the baking soda method, I would skip the baking soda method and just do this. I feel like with this, you get very similar results to the baking soda method, but it's way less damaging on your hair and it removes way more color than the baking soda method. If you do the baking soda method a lot, give this a try instead and let me know how well it works for you. Like I said, I tried every color of the damn rainbow except for red and it removed pretty much all of them So I'm curious to know if this would remove red. It's not like a super strong bleach based color remover So I actually have pretty high hopes that this could potentially remove red dye So we're definitely gonna have to test that out at some point in the future I will leave a link to this product in the description down below for you guys if you have vivid hair and you want to remove the color Definitely give this a try because I feel like it works a lot better than a lot of other hair color removers you can find at Sally Beauty and it's way more gentle. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. I